guys and welcome back to my ch channel why did i just do that I, i'm just so awkward i can never start videos but i'm back with a bang with a boohoo haul have not ordered from boohoo in a while i'm here to see what boohoo is about this time i know you enjoy seeing what it looks like on a size i would say i'm more of a 12 now but size sort of 10 to 12 mid-size body you know the festivities are catching up with me i've been having a lot of roasts i've been drinking a lot you know a party season just you, everyone needs to calm down sometimes also i did this new makeup look i really like that it's kind of is it a reverse cat eye it's kind of like you do the liner under two it just looks very like sexy i'm so into like a little dark smoky look and it's so easy to do you just do like two colors on the top then a liner it's great hoping to get some more makeup videos but yeah without further ado i've got this huge bag and i'm ready for that just to be transparent he does turn this stuff to me but i'm not being paid and all opinions as always are my own let's go babes we need to start with this coat because uh, in this haul i got quite a lot of things like a mixture of party wear winter warmers anything you need for like december because it'd be cold out there like almost a bit too cold i'm actually like I don't know, I'm quite worried, like, also living in a London house, it's just freezing in these old Victorian houses. But this coat, she is the moment, she is, she's an icon and she's everything. I've ordered it from the petite section. Let me just pop it on with this roll neck I've got on now. Oh my god. I just feel, I don't know if you watched my Zara haul. If you didn't, then you're a fake fan. But I tried to order this Borg coat, Borg coat, whatever these are, aviator things. And it looked vile when it was £90. So I'm glad I found an alternative that actually fits me. So I found ordering stuff from the petite section. Shock! actually fits me properly because i am five foot three so maybe i should just accept that i'm short can't wear things for normal sized people but yeah i love that it's like pu with um so it gives a bit of shine a bit of sass with the white fur and you know what it's surprisingly so warm i just wore it this weekend a weekend away to bath and it really like because the neck goes up here you wouldn't you wouldn't think it but then the fur collar does the most love the pockets because you can fit your phone in there like I don't know it's just my dream in a coat looks good with jeans looks good with over a dress i actually wore it on a night out and a homeless man bless him he was so sweet the homeless people in bath like everyone in bath is so nice like even the homeless people he was like he was like oh we love your jacket i was like thanks babe <laughs> really appreciate it bless him i hope he's all right it doesn't make you feel so sad like the, how cold it is i don't know it's so scary and it's just awful that it's such a thing in this country yeah i love the length everything i just think this jacket is perfect and yeah it's everything i needed so yeah i will leave the links to everything below but i got this in a 12 because it was in petite i didn't want to get it in a 10 i feel like it wouldn't fit me and look it's a good length on the sleeves as well so oh so happy with my first purchase i really apologize if it's super dark in my room i cannot deal with london get me out of here get me out of here who remembers that song i used to live for that what, who was that what's her name because my heart is burning from these silly tears you guys know what i'm about right next i got this cord and like just feeling it it feels so nice it's like this gorgeous little ribbed like sort of cardigan you could wear it with jeans if you wanted but it does come with these trousers that just feel again so premium and nice and like they would be the comfiest they're like comfy but cute working from home like i don't always want to be that bitch that's wearing joggers i want to look a bit you know nice when i answer the door to the postman it's the only interaction i get usually but still I want to feel good for myself this is 40 pound but you know with boohoo they always do so many offers so like when i got this it was only 28 you just got to keep an eye out keep an eye out for the codes and discounts this is dreamy as hell oh my god this top is so pretty and so flattering this color and these sleeves i don't know what it is about little bell sleeves can you see they flare out it just makes me feel like the daintiest like cutest girl like Please tell me you understand what I mean. It stops at such a flattering place. You get a little bit of cleavage. I feel like ribbed is subtly sexy because you see your body. 100% I would wear this with a pair of blue jeans and boots, a little beanie hat under a coat. So then when you get to like your coffee day, you can take it off. I love it. Oh my God, it feels really nice. And then the trousers. These are the trousers. They are long, but not too long. Like they just about are the right size for me obviously you'll see in my mirror shot but they feel nice like they don't feel too big like, i feel like if i got smaller it would it would have been too tight but there's definitely room one thing i will say is like i'm a little bit insecure of like 
sort of my hip dips and it doesn't highlight them more but it obviously like your belly and stuff is out so I would say if you're a little bit insecure of them you might want to wear this with more like an oversized cardigan or something but they are very free and not restricting of your stomach it's just that is my interpretation i like to let you huns know these things i just think as a set it's so so cute just for around the house or like little sundays when you want to be cozy but you can definitely wear a coat over to dress it up like it's acceptable loungewear to wear outside that is the kind of vibe i'm getting from this and it's just i don't know i, I really like this i think there was other colors but yeah i'm wearing a medium it was 40 pound delicious so far boohoo is ticking all the boxes for me this next outfit i was hoping it could be you know a potential new year's christmas party vibe really gorgeous like i don't have anything that's like pink and sparkly love a bardo top so this was 12 pounds it's like ruched and it's actually a co-ord i have so many banging party bits on at the moment and the skirt is also ruched you know if you're insecure about insecure, insecure about your belly like ruching will be your best friend the skirt was 15 so like it's less than 30 pounds for a really nice party outfit again you can mix and match if you're cold you could just wear the top let's try it ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, it's sparkle i love a bardo like i just think that's such a flattering part of the body for it to come off the shoulder i feel like this would look really nice with fair skin too i have to, i keep having things that i have to wear tan for i don't need to wear tan but it's a, obviously something i'm trying to do is love my pale skin more but it is a journey like i'm not going to just say i'm never going to wear tan again you know if i want to wear tan i will but i am keeping in mind things that will look nice on fair skin and this is definitely one of them this sort of like pinky color probably look better than i do right now the top in a 10 it definitely fits perfectly i enjoy this ruching as you know on new year's you're gonna be picking up the cheese boards you're gonna be having a little hummus dip or whatever tzatziki um so you like i like things that don't show your stomach and then from the back obviously ruching always accentuates your bum you can just wear with little heels really nice and if you did feel like it was too much or you were cold this top with a blue like flared out baggy jean even just with trainers like even i don't know what everyone's doing new year's let me know hopefully the restrictions i mean i'm trying not to freak out about it but hopefully we can do stuff for new year's or at least go to a pub or a bar but who knows who knows let's just be happy for our health in this time maybe with like silver jewelry i feel like i probably could have got the skirt in a 10 you know because it actually has a lot of room like this is a little bit long a little bit baggy here so keep that in mind you can definitely maybe size down or if you're in between sizes you can afford to go down but yeah overall this is really cute and could be a very strong contender <laughs> on the theme of party wear still i got these oh the most incredible trousers i think this is what i added to my basket first because i was just like yes i need some of them in my life they're these gorge leather like yellowy snakeskin trousers they have a split hem so very on trend very fashionable this is what drew me in because i don't have anything like this look they've got kind of like a rope bit just makes them way more sassy more like dressy you could wear just a black or white top i got these in a 12 they were 40 i mean they said they were 40 when i bought them they were when i got them they were a lot cheaper because there's a sale one so hopefully they're still in the sale by the time this goes live but i hope they look as good as i'm imagining right i just popped it on with a little white top as this is how like i envisioned it envisioned like a little white or black corset the trousers giving me a bunda i just think they look so cool i think it might like christina and you know like some sort of like y2k pop vibes um i also enjoy these you can like see my tattoo so it's like it wasn't a waste of 108 pound yes that's how much i paid for a tiny tattoo because london tattoo prices are extortionate i would say they're a little they feel soft like they're nice soft leather like sometimes level when you can't breathe ain't the vibe you know what i'm saying girls it's a little bit big i probably should have got a 10 but i never know of these things look at the back oh so you think i'm skinny i'm obviously not but look it's a bit why am i trying to force like look at so it's just so big on me it's not it's it's just a little bit oversized um and they're a little bit too long i really wish they came in petite um let me move the camera down so you can see so i don't know if i'd be able to wear them casually because they would also look cool with like a a big oversized hoodie and like an aviator coat and you just kind of like bring the jazz with the trousers i quite enjoy more of a funky trouser than a funky top you know it's like reverse nice top and jeans you know what i'm saying all right this is not my angle but can you see like it makes the flares go out so i'm gonna just 
from now on, where I can, I'm going to try and shop petite. But if I had heels, it would be a vibe. I'm kind of vibe. Yeah, you see? Yeah, so I feel like with heels, that will be nice. Or maybe really chunky boots or platform trainers. Like, I need stuff that gives me a bit of height with these. Overall, they are definitely a cool. Something I would love to wear to, like, a bar. Um, or you can buy them casually. I'm just very, yeah, again, very happy with these. So far, we haven't had a dud of the haul. And that, that rarely happens for me. Because usually I don't really like everything. But, yeah, let's see what the next item is. I just checked and I think this might have sold out, but hopefully they restock. So I'm going to show you it anyway. I think they have other items like this. Oh, it's like, I'm sticking to the party wear theme. Look, it's a black satin blazer dress, but what makes it so amazing? It's got a feather sleeve, like feather sleeves to make you look like that bitch. Like you look so bougie and you, it dresses up something that would be fairly plain. But I think the shape of this looks gorgeous. I got this in a 10 and I'm just imagining with like knee high boots, it would look Pang. I never really wear black, you know, because I don't know, but people say that wearing black makes you feel like really sexy and powerful, but it does like, not like the opposite to me, but I'm so girly and I just want to have like fun and be like vibrant. So I definitely prefer colours or neutrals. I don't know what it is. Maybe because my hair is dark, I don't really wear black. Like, but what do you think? Does it suit me? I'm impressed that it covers boobs. I thought I was going to need like tit tape, but it covers your boobs, which is nice. The sleeves obviously are just... Oh, fabulous i feel like i'd be like happy new year you know it is really that they're, they're really fun and i it makes me just feel like i killed my husband and i'm a rich trophy wife and it's energy i like to encapsulate every day i probably could have got a 12 looking back like it's fine but it's pulling a little bit of my stomach and i feel like it might have been a bit more flattering in a 12 but it, it it, it does work, you know, but I'd say again, if you're in between sizes, go a size up. And it's with these things, sometimes you like them to be a little looser. But I really feel like with like a snake boot or something, this would look incredible. It is so classy, sexy, but like understated. And the satin just does give it this like rich energy, which I'm all here for. I feel like you could definitely dress up with a bag. And talking of bags, I have got one. Can we just have a moment? Oh! so pretty i feel like we really overlook accessories for party season they really can make or break an outfit because sometimes i'm like i have the, the most unreal like something like this i have a really unreal outfit and then what i'm just gonna wear like my plain old my plain old like black bag like no you need to it needs to have a jazzy thing and i like the hoop you can have it round you know it's just so special and but easy to carry in a club oh and it's a zip that's what we need because i don't want my stuff falling out and do you know what in there Mate, hey, you're fitting a lot. You're fitting your phone, lip gloss, like my rescue remedy for when I get anxious on nights out. <laughs> you got a bit of everything. Only hot girls take rescue remedy. Like only hot girls will know what I mean. Very pretty. I never really shopped on Boohoo for accessories, but you should. But their accessory game is strong. They're doing the most. Very good for dupes and very inexpensive. So happy with that little diamante number. Two feathers are already on the floor and I'm not mentally ready to deal with this today. Like I literally just hoovered. So please don't do me dirty like that. Don't do me dirty. That's the thing with these kind of sleeves or like anything fluffy, it just sheds. Should we get something for the casual babes? I feel like we've been very glam for the last few outfits, but I got this. It's just like an oversized little cream cable knit. I feel like I don't have one. Like it's something you would need if you create a capsule ward wardrobe. It goes with so much and it's so essential. So I'm like, Sadie, you have all these clothes. Is that the storm? Oh, hell. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna get one off Boohoo and it looks really nice. Just like simple, oversized, big baggy sleeves, wear with jeans, little coffee shop, run errands around the house. It's just an essential, everyone needs it. So I don't get why I didn't have one, but here we go. Oh, I bloody love it. And it's only, it's only 15. Like I think that's such a good price for a jumper like this. It feels really nice and warm, lovely knit. I like the patterns on it what is that like pointel i don't really know my jumper terminology I haven't worked in fashion for like a year now that's a lie i literally only quit in july but you know what i'm saying six months i like balloon jumpers because i feel like they make you look so like skinny i don't know like, they make you look like i don't know it's just oversized it's nicer than who wants a jumper like that i don't know i kind of like these i will say it's a little bit too big i got a medium and i'm like damn like let me untuck it but i do enjoy a french tuck that's a bit much you know Oh, I would probably say 
I'd wear a small. If I could order it again, I'd get a small, but it's fine. Like, some people prefer, like, a big baggy jumper. Like, ooh, you fit me better than my favourite sweater. I just paired it with, like, little leather jeans for now, but I feel like it would look cute with a check skirt, blue jeans. It's, the possibilities are, are endless, really. You cannot go wrong with a cream jumper. It's the last time I'm going to say it, ladies. And I like that it's not too high a roll neck. You know when you get the roll necks like that? And it's like, you're not doing my double chin any favours, my darling. Yeah, cute, cute. On the topic of essential items, I actually picked up a cheeky pair of boots because you can never have enough winter boots in the winter, you know, for stepping in puddles or whatever this weather is throwing at us. And these, I thought were quite unique. I don't have anything like these. Voila! So they're like a Chelsea boot, suede, but they're khaki. I just thought that was nice. Some, with, with an outfit like this, cream jumper and sometimes I feel like my boots are too crazy too much I want one that kind of fits to my leg a bit more a bit skinnier I can't explain it like some of my boots are just too chunky for my outfits but this one still has a little bit of platform like it's still cool and yeah I'm excited to get these on it would just be easier to show you the shoes in the mirror um so this is how they look I don't know why I literally just hoovered like why is my floor dirty like is anyone else's carpet like this I really like them because they dress up a basic outfit like cream jumper and black if I had black boots it wouldn't look as good but the khaki adds a little something like oh and I feel like they'd look cool with tights too so yeah I'm really happy with them I got a size five they're a little bit spacious but I find that comfier sometimes you don't want your like I sometimes get a lot of shoes and my toes right at the end and honestly go home with blisters so now I've realized like shoes they can have a little, they can have a little space. Let your bunions breathe, darling. <laughs> and you can wear this with like fluffy socks for extra warmth. Obviously they're not gonna be the best in the rain, but I like them a lot. I'm really happy with that. What do we think, girlies? Then I've got some more knitwear because it is the season after all. And this one, yes, it's a Christmas jumper. I keep forgetting it's actually December. Like Christmas is in like two bloody weeks. I'm not even over exaggerating. I have not got any presents, not even fucking one. Like not even one. I've got one of my friend's birthday presents, that's it. Not one present. <laughs> I'm smiling through the pain. Like I, I'm just a last minute person. I like to like have the pressure, like it's Christmas Eve. Usually me and my brother go to Cabot Circus in Bristol and just get loads of presents. So my, my family know what I like. It's not like I am self-employed and have all the time in the world to uh, order presents or anything. Like they know, it's fine, it's fine. But yeah, I digress. I got the cutest Christmas jumper. It's it's pink. I like, we normalize getting pink Christmas jumpers. Why are they always red or green for? Like. Those colours aren't that flattering. Pink, however, is just a bit of me. And this one says Santa's side chick. Because I would actually fully be okay with being Santa's side chick. Because you only have to deal with him in December. That's like the, the, the most proximity I want to a man. I'll deal with you in December. You can bring me like, I don't know what Santa brings you. You can come down my chimney and uh, give me a cup of eggnog and some presents. And then fuck off. Like I'm, I'm down with that. Uh, application to be this old man's side chick. Thanks. Yes. Let's deck the halls and fa la la. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love pink and red together. Like, it's a colour combo we don't talk about enough. It just, it looks festive, but not too much. And it would be, you know when you want, you're invited to a Christmas jumper party, you don't want to wear an ugly jumper. I don't want to wear ugly things, man. I'm pretty. I want pretty things. <laughs> but yeah, this is so pretty. This is so cute. I'm definitely going to be wearing this around Bristol in December, around my family. Stamp the side chick coming through. It doesn't feel itchy, it's nice. They actually have loads of Christmas jumpers, so if you're in the market for a little festive, sassy Christmas jumper, boo who have got you gals. Final piece of knitwear I got is this lovely little green number. I love how I was just sliding off green and then I'm like buying something green. It's not a festive green though, it's like a fashion green. This is the colour of the season, you know what I'm saying? You got, like, I know you've got me, I know you got me. This gorgeous little check cardigan. I really like preppy things at the moment, I really like check. And I, I think cardigans have definitely made a comeback this year. I feel like they weren't around that much, whereas now everyone's wearing like jazzy cardigans, big slouchy, it's sort of slightly cropped, oversized. And yeah, I just like the check. I also feel like this color has been everywhere. You know, everyone has it in the Bottega bags, but why not have it in a little jumper? So cute. Again, it'll just dress up like jeans or black leather trousers and you're still warm. Warm. I'm trying to think of your warmth my darlings because please when I was 18 I used to go out and freeze not anymore I need like five thermal layers just to leave the fucking house these days. <laughs> oh my god I thought this was gonna be nice, but like I didn't know it fit like that. That is so flattering. What the fuck? I need all my clothes to be this shape now look it like hangs off the boob So it makes your waist look smaller rather than like a cropped. Oh And then it hangs down 
god that's flattering and it feels so nice and soft like it's really well made i haven't as i said i haven't ordered from boohoo in a while but i'm actually really impressed with their quality like nothing i've tried on so far has been bad quality like i don't know if they've changed supplies i don't know what's been going on in the meantime but well done i'm happy and i can't get over it it's thick it's well made medium this is so so cool again you could pop it on with leather shorts it, it is still pretty festive like you could wear this with a little beanie hat to a christmas market if they're still bloody on if bojo oh i can't even i can't even get into it because i'm angry i'm angry if bojo lets us but yeah i like the v-neck again like just super super flattering really oh love i cannot sing this jumper's praises enough in fact i just want to wear it for the rest of the day Cute. only a few more bits left now if you're still with me on this haul thanks so much i really appreciate you watching obviously i love it if you could subscribe or comment like any support i just i don't know i just love you <laughs> it's crazy that i've done youtube for over a year now and like there's people that are still here i love it i'm just i'm just really grateful so yeah this is kind of rogue i don't know i don't know what drew me to this but it's just cute and kind of simple but it looks really good on the model. I feel like models, I definitely base a lot of stuff on how it looks on the model and then it turns up and I'm like, actually, I'm not a model so it doesn't look as good on me. But it's just a plain, like, bardo leopard print top. I feel like, again, just for bars with jeans, it's that nice top and jeans always good to have in your wardrobe. So I'm going to put it on. I got it in a 10. I feel like it could be a bit small. And my vision has just come to life. Like... I'm still waiting for the dud of this haul. I don't get it. Like, I I'm so impressed. Maybe I'm just so good at choosing clothes. Like, I shouldn't be a stylist. I just think this is, like, so subtly, like, sexy. Again, you can just wear it with jeans, a little skirt. Like, it, it's just, I don't know. I've always liked bardo tops. I've always think they're very nice and flattering. Like, shoulders are a good place to get out. Oh, my God. I need your help. I have wanted to get a shoulder tattoo for so long, but I'm really nervous. Like, do you think I'd suit one, like... Here, I, I mean, my arm's bulging out a bit. I probably should have got as well. <laughs> Jesus. But yeah, do you think I would suit a little tattoo there? Or will I regret it? It's so hard to know. But um, yeah, this is how it looks. It's not a bodysuit, so it just tucks in really nicely. You don't have to faff about. I don't know if I like bodysuits sometimes. Like when I'm drunk and I'm in the toilet and I'm like trying to undo, that's why I kind of just like, these sort of tops there's no it just tucks in really well and i'm not wearing a bra and you know what like because it's got the good elastic it's it kind of like works for me yeah this is it from the back just all the same the way around and i think animal print is never gonna go out of fashion like leopard print has been around since the day well since leopards were around which i didn't i'm not gonna about to go into the fucking history of leopards right now but i imagine a lot longer than me and you have been around so you know what i'm saying they can't, how can it go out of fashion when it's the time is classic it's serving like cats later but 2021 <laughs> then i actually picked up another coat because I, I haven't really got loads of coats this season and there's just some coats i think are really good to have in your coat drobe whatever like an aviator like i just got and this as well i don't have any like long tailored ones um and I think it's something that's, again, really easy to start and quite warm. I, and I liked that it was in the petite section. I thought it would be a different colour to this. I don't know if it suits my colouring, but we'll see. I'm hoping it won't be too long on my body, because that's why I kind of steer away from the tailoring ones, because they're so long that it's just, like, awkward. I got it in a 12. It was it was 60. It was down to, like, 40 when I got it. So, again, sometimes for these coats, you end up paying, like, 130. And I don't know. So let's have a look. Okay, so far, again, I'm not sure, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not sure on the colour. What do you think? Like, does this suit me? I don't know if that it's, I'm not tanned enough for this sort of, um, tailoring. Like, I, I like the shape of it, and I like, it's quite soft, um, and the buttons don't do up, so you kind of do up with this, and I always find that tailoring with a tie is, is so much more flattering because it gives you a little bit of shape, but... I don't know. I never know with these coats, so you guys have to let me out. Like, I'm not not gonna lie, I'm not gonna be like, I love it, but it's doing the job. I'll try and show you the length in the mirror. I don't know why I have odd socks on, so please just, like, why? Do people do stuff like this, or is it just me? Like, why is one an ankle, one normal? But this is the length of it, so, like, it is pretty good. It's still long, like, for a petite coat, it's still long, but I imagine the normal range would be, like, to your feet so this gives a bit of a leg and makes you look elongated it is definitely flattering like it's a nice coat and it's soft and i'm sure it would fit over a jumper i could have probably gone with a 14 like i feel the shoulders are a little bit tight i feel like a sexy mistress like hello it's it's growing on me the more i'm wearing it i think it's because i don't see myself in these classy outfits like i'm always wearing some sort of like leather jacket but 
you guys let me know what you think of this but i am very happy that they do such a good petite range and definitely happy that it's affordable right last but not least my hands i got this nice little silver sparkly bralette it kind of gives me the same vibes as the zara one you're know, the one that just like keeps selling out and everyone has lost their shit over it's like that but definitely a fraction of the price and it is in stock so win win and there's also a few other colors there might be gold i think there's champagne pink i might be wrong but yeah i thought again if you're someone who doesn't want to go all out for new year's but wants to have a little sparkle sparkle this again with jeans perfect i've had a good top haul this tight round like I'm, I'm really doing well but who are doing well with tops it is definitely a crop top like it is more of a bralette but I'm not wearing a bra and it's keeping my boobs in place it's got good elastic on either side i like stuff where i don't have to wear a bra if i'm honest like i like to feel th free without the constraints that a woman has to deal with it's like a square neckline it's cute you know it is cute i feel like it would look work better with a blue jean blue jeans white shirt but yeah i'm i'm so into this like get the party started people let's go let's head out to town have a big coat on it's y2k party but subtle and it's thick see like you won't see your nipple like it's double lined that's what we like to see thanks a lot boohoo pretty much everything i'm happy with like the only thing i was a bit like mm, was the coat but like everything else i'm like 10 out of 10 like i i, I can't believe it like usually i have to send stuff back and i'm not happy but Thanks a lot, Bay Hill. Thanks a lot, Rachel. I'm obviously getting really hyper for some reason because it's actually dark. Why is it dark at this time, please? I would like to talk to manager. Thanks. But yeah, I just want to say thank you so much for watching this haul. Anything you want to get will be in the links below. And yeah, um, let me know what else you'd want to see before Christmas. I might try and do some makeup looks if my eye eczema will let me because I just think you don't want to see my crusty eyelids, do you? You don't want me to... No, you don't. But yeah, hope you have the best week and I love you.